my channel. Today we are dyeing my hair. Uh, so I'm in the bathroom, yes it's in the middle of being decorated but I'm dyeing my hair from this blonde to brown. So this is the natural brown shade. I thought I'd give that a try for now. So hopefully it looks okay. Like this blonde, as much as I love it, it is so much to upkeep. So it is time to get red and try to be my natural colour again, which is brown. So I'm hoping with the right shade, I won't have to dye my hair as much. And I can just let it grow out and be nice and healthy. And with this, I probably am just going to slap all over my head as best as possible. So that is the hair brushed through. So I do have quite a few boxes of this because my hair is quite long and quite thick. I have got six boxes of this hair dye. So fingers crossed that's enough. I'm hoping so. Let's get box number one sorted. So comment down below how many boxes of this do you think I'm going to need to cover my hair? I'm thinking around four, maybe five, but I have got six to be on the safe side, as I will be doing all of my hair. Right, so that one is well shook up. Now time to get the gloves. My hands are sweating already. I'm so nervous to do this, but I can't wait to get rid of the blonde. It's, it's been well loved, but it's definitely time to go now. Here it goes. Well, this is super strong hair dye, I'm not going to lie. Jesus. We might actually have to open the window. So that is box number one. Now to get box number two ready, and I'm definitely taking these gloves off to open a window. Some of it's already turning brown. Am I scared? 
absolutely because if this goes wrong it's going to take a lot of money to go back well if this goes wrong i'm just going to put black over the top not going to lie i've been black before i've had black hair with red fringe with black hair with a purple fringe so if it goes wrong i've got backup options so another set of gloves fingers crossed i look like hagrid even with a frizzy hair when this is done I have looked like Hagrid before as well, to be fair. So, who's ready? Look how brown that's going, ready. Man, this works quick. Oof. Oh, it's even all over my head already. Oh well, that's fine. Deal with it, won't I? Okay. how brown that is going already compared to what it was so yeah that is two boxes down so let's move on to box number three like this stuff smells so strong as well and i've opened the window as wide as i can in the bathroom and my god the room just seems to be filling with the smell of this hair dye so i keep having to take deep breaths because it is super strong so two boxes has done pretty well, I guess. So I'm guessing we'll probably be able to get it all covered with three, but go over with four just to with a fourth just to double check. I right, use the fourth one just to make sure everything is covered because I don't want to have any more blonde in this hair. I mean, even if there was still blonde in it, I could always go over it, which is why I always try to buy more than what I need, just oh, in case my eye is streaming. Can you see that? Oh, my eyes watering. Wow, this is going brown quick. If it's a shake, this should get most of this bit done, but... Is it going to be weird me being brown? I haven't been brown in, well, fully brown in ages. But sometimes a change is a good thing. Like I've been brown, uh, I've been blonde since having Harriet and Harriet is October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 months, so nearly two years old. So I've been blonde for nearly two years. Not all that money I spent going blonde, I'm now going brown. Don't get me wrong, I don't regret going blonde one bit. So this, I think this, I want this some dry bit here, is it any there? Not, I don't think there's any dry bit in that bit, so just put that there. So this is the bit that's left. Is there anything? I can't even see it at the back, but we'll figure it out. So empty box. Empty box. So yeah, this is the third box. Like, look at that brown streak there compared to the blonde. Jesus, this is going to look so nice. I well, I hope it looks so nice. So in front of me, I just have some little hexagon mirrors. So I'm trying my best to use them and use my phone to do this because I am shocking at dyeing my own hair. Like, I've already got it here, but, you know, it's already all over my face, so just got to get on with it now.
So I'm definitely going to need a box at number four as there is still some blonde bits within this bit here. And I'm just going to go over the back of my head as best as I can with box number four. But yeah, roll on the brown hair. I'm not going to lie, my hands are so sweaty right now. Oh God. Like the smell isn't as strong anymore, like I think I've got used to it, but look at this. I always do that, it's obviously here, here, um, I will get that off. Like if you have any other tips and tricks to get rid of hair dye from the skin, then just let me know and I'll remember it for next time. I don't even know how long I'm supposed to leave this on for as I've not even read the instructions yet but hey ho I don't think that really matters much now does it when this is already like this so I'm trying to get in there as best as I can this is going to look brown though already you're not going to lie it's like a natural chocolate brown Like, I have had blonde hair, uh, brown hair before and I'm pretty sure this is like the dye that I used. Like, I used to get the pound shop dye to do brown hair or even to do blonde sometimes I used to get the pound shop one. And then with my blonde I did get it done professionally and um, it was hella expensive every time. Every time I got my hair done, depending on what they did, was around 70 to 75 plus. But my hair's long, it was thick, and obviously with that was the toner and a cut as well. And they did blow dry, but it did, it takes them ages to blow dry my hair. Like my hair is super thick, it takes ages to dry. Like it took two of them to dry my hair. I mean, before, the, um, well, the most amount of people I've had dry my hair at once is free. I had one either side, one at the back, and they're sectioning their hair to dry it that way. And that was when I had bright, bright red hair. I do miss that red hair, to be fair, but that is just too much as well to keep up with. Whereas now, I just need something more natural something more my colour so I'm hoping this has coated absolutely everything so I think that is the whole head covered and then it looks it from what I can see I mean I've gone through it as best as I can fingers crossed it is all covered let's take these off like look it is all over my neck I'm not sure if I've even got some on my chin. But now it's time to clean up and see how long this needs to be left on for. I'll see you when it's washed out. So I've left my hair in for around 20 minutes. This is what it looks like. It looks super, super dark. So I'm thinking it is gonna go black first. But yeah, that is at the back if you can see. So fingers crossed, it actually looks half decent when it's finished. But you know, it's all over me, so let's wash this out. So this is the finished hair, and I love how it's turned out. Right, just look at the colour of this. Like, I know it's not my natural colour, but it is so nice, and I really like this colour. Like, my hair is still really fluffy right now. And obviously the shampoo you get in it isn't that great. So I'm going to leave it for a day or two and rewash it and see how it goes. But yeah, this is the final hair. And yes, I did change my top because my top got covered in hair dye. It got soaked and now it's all dry. It's looking okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've got to put a brush through it again because I keep fanny and about with it but yeah that is my hair and 
Thank you for watching. If you got this far, it means so much to me. I'll obviously link my socials down below in the description box and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.